What have I got to do to get around it? What have I got to do to get around it? <laughs> Come Save Me was actually the first track that Gab and I collaborated on. At the time we were in two different bands and um, we were sharing music that we were working on, you know, respective of those bands. And um, Come Save Me was a track that I had um, that was incomplete because uh, I had no vocal. Um, and I played it to Gab at my house. Um, and as I was playing it to him, Gab just started singing this, this melody over the top of it. And um, it, it, it sounded like, to me, it sounded like the song was, was now complete. I was going, actually going through a breakup and I remember constantly looking at my phone to see if I was going to get a text message from this girl and it just wasn't happening and it was really horrible and so I kept on turning my phone off and like throwing it against the end of the, the room and then running back like an hour later be like, oh, just turn it back on again and check, see, there's nothing there. <laughs> Then a few months later, we um, took it to a friend in Berlin, Ewan Pearson, who mixed other stuff for me in the past, and he's an amazing um, producer and mixer. And um, in that stage where we should have just been mixing the track down, completing it, um, basically started to flip the track on itself and, and, and evolve it into this kind of more electronic remix version of the track, which is what that sort of outro section is. Um, which I think kind of, that really completed the track because originally it was, you know, it was just a, sort of a pop song and then it sort of became something a little more interesting.